In our second part of contrasting our Haggadah to the Haggadah at the time of the Beit HaMikdash, I would like to point out one very interesting difference. Everybody knows about the four sons. We have the Chacham, Rasha, Tam, and Sheino Deli Shol. These four sons are based upon the four times that the Torah speaks about the mitzvah to teach our children the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. And it teaches us that there are many different types of children, many different educational prototypes, and we have to be sure that we're speaking not only about the story, but rather we're speaking to our children in their way so that they can understand. Now these four sons, as we know, we read through the Haggadah, they have the Chacham, who starts off with a very long-winded question, and we give him an answer where we teach him the Halachot. The Chacham gets taught Halachot, the laws. We then afterwards have the Rasha. The Rasha asks a kind of cynical question, and we answer back cynically by punching him, and as figuratively punching him in the mouth, and giving it to him, and telling him that he should be more respectful. Okay, we then on move on to the Tam. The Tam asks a very simple question. All he says is the words, Mazot. What is this? And what do we do? We teach him what seemingly is the most simple thing, the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. The last child doesn't ask the question, At ptachlo, we start the story and we tell him about the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. Fascinating. Great. Everything seems very clear. However, if you look at the Yerushalmi, the Gemara that was written in Yerushalayim, they have a very different way of answering the four sons. All the questions are pretty much exactly the same. The Chacham asks a long-winded question, the Rasha asks a cynical question, the Tam asks his simple question, and the Sheinu Deli Shol does not ask a question at all. However, the answers are very different. Well, in our Haggadah, the Chacham has got taught halachot, laws. The Tam gets taught the story. In the Yerushalmi, it's switched. The Chacham is taught the story while the Tam is taught the Halachot. Now this seems like a very strange difference. Why would we switch it? If the Chacham is being taught the story in the Yushami, why do we switch it to be teaching him the Halachot? The laws. Why is it that the Tam at the beginning in the Yushami gets told to be gets told the, the, the Halachot and now we just tell him the story? I think what's happening here is it's trying to dem this difference demonstrates to us that a fundamental difference in terms of the type of education we have to give a child in Israel and children that are experiencing what it's like to be free in our land and children that are living outside of Israel. Now what's interesting is that what is the purpose of the halachot? Last week when we spoke about how the, the Seder switches the order, we understood that halacha, when we don't have the experience of being in the base of Mikdash and celebrating with all the nation, what we needed to do was we needed the structure of halachot in order to teach us how to experience what was it like back then. We need all the different halachot of the leaning and exactly and telling the story and how to tell the story and this back and forth. Halacha, for us, creates a world of Torah that allows us to live with God. That's the purpose of halacha. The purpose of halacha in Eretz Yisrael is the opposite. We have that world, halacha allows us to express it to the highest level, allows us to take that world to the next level, allows us to use the rituals and use all the mitzvot as an expression of what I'm already living right now. That's the difference between halacha which creates our reality or halacha that expresses the reality. So therefore we have two different roles when we're trying to teach our best students, our greatest students, what are we going to focus on? In our Haggadah it's very, very clear. We have to teach our greatest students the halacha, to teach them the laws, the intricacies of halacha, in order to create that world for them and tell them, you are very, very intelligent, you're very smart, but we need you to experience Judaism. So therefore, let's focus on the And the simple story is told to the child who's not yet ready for that level. On the other hand, for somebody who's living in that world, the simplest thing we can teach them is, this is how you do the halachot. This is what you eat, this is what you drink, this is how much, this is how you lean. That's the easiest story. But for the child who already understands that, the supreme educational model is not only to focus on the halachot, but rather to give them the why, give them the understanding of what we're doing here, the background, so they can embody more what it means to be a Jew. That's the difference. Do we focus on the philosophy, the ideas, the story behind it? Or do we focus on the halachot? Different times call for different measures. And the Yushami, in its difference from our Haggadah, demonstrates these two different worlds of how to view the purpose of the story. 
is it to create, are the halachot there, to create for us a world in order so that we can experience Yitzhiyah Mitzrayim? Or are we already experiencing Yitzhiyah Mitzrayim, and therefore the halachot are there in order for us to express that? And the higher level above that is understanding the depth to what that message means today. Shabbat Shalom.